Welcome to Cut Saturn Turbo Machinery Module Tutorial. This video will give you a preview of how to set and to compute two CFD cases using integrated turbo machinery module. I will show you how to set and to compute two CFD computations and I will give you previews of the results using Paraview software. In order to optimize the video duration, I will focus on the CFD settings and the post-processing results. Please refer to the PDF tutorial if you need additional details. For the next two cases, we will use the same meshes but with two different computation options. The first option is called Frozen Rotor providing results without using sliding meshes method. The second option is called transient simulation, providing results using this time a sliding meshes method. Attention! Using this module requires to mesh with similar refinement around interfaces region. Otherwise, the computation won't converge with a high risk of errors. Let's start with frozen option. This technique optimizes computation time, providing good steady state results. Here is how to set the case. First, make sure you created a turbo machinery folder in which you will be able to copy pasted meshes. Here are two meshes you need to paste it into the mesh folder, the rotor and the stator. Here it is, here it is. Then make sure to create two cases, the first one frozen rotor and the second one the transient rotor. Once this is done, you don't need to add source files for this computation. You could move to the cut Saturn graphic user interface. Then proceed to the following settings. Regarding the mesh tab, make sure you have both rotor and stator, stator meshes, the standard computation option, then move to the boundary condition and make sure you have both labels and selection criteria as well set as follows. Once this is done, you could move to Com Calculation Fears tab, then select Standard Euler in Single Phase, Incompressible. Then under Additional Fears, you could select Frozen Rotor Model for this Turbo Machinery Model. This will activate the option, but also this tab here. We will move to this tab later. Here is the turbulence models. You could select K epsilon linear production with a velocity scale of one meter per second. You don't need to add a thermal model. You don't need to add body forces neither. And no need to add species transport. Let's now set the turbo machinery tab. First, you need to set the rotor definition by typing 1.5 radius per second for the velocity. Then the selection criteria regards the volume meshes. This information could be found in thanks to Paraview and you will be able to see uh, the number associated with the volume of the rotor. Then don't forget to define rotation definition and fill one following Z direction and the invariant point in our cases is located in the origin of the rotor uh, at 0, 0, 0. You could also add this low for the phase joining option and this will conclude the turbo machinery tab settings.
Once this is done, you could move to volume condition. Make sure both initialization and physical properties are, are ticked. Then move to all cells. You could init initialize the velocity, typing 0, 0, 0, following the three directions. Then move to physical properties and set the following values. All these values, as always, are um, also in the PDF tutorial. So do not hesitate to have a look at this document too, if you need details. Once this is done, you could move to boundary conditions. You could also save your XML document. Boundary conditions. Here, please define the nature for each label here, for each boundary zones. Regarding walls, you could select a smooth wall. You don't need to add settings for symmetry. Regarding the inlet, and based on the PDF tutorial, we will set one meter per second velocity following Y direction. The hydraulic diameter could be uh, one meter. Then regarding the leg, you don't need to add further details here. Let's now move to time settings. Select time step option as constant and velocity pressure algorithm as simplex. The reference time step here is 0 0.01 and the stopping criterion is physical time and will compute 10 seconds. So once this is done, you can save. Regarding numerical parameters, you can leave all the values by default here. Don't need to change anything. Same thing for equation. You can leave all values by default and all values unchanged. Then move to post-processing. Regarding the writer tab and the results, let's set, for instance, the output every x second uh, down to 0 0.05 uh, seconds in order to have frames, different frames, every, uh, every 0 0.05 seconds. Then you will be done for this, um, for this tab here, you can move to volume solutions and untick total pressure that will be useless for post-processing. Same thing for current number and Fourier number. So once this is done, you could also untick stress normal and stress tangential. That won't, give, that won't be necessary. So once this is done, you can save your XML document then proceed to the run computation here. You can run computation and move now to the next step of post-processing phases. I will show you some results. Once the computation is done, you can load the results within Paraview. Do not forget to select the filter cell data to point data, otherwise you won't have a clean view of the results. So let's now plot pressure and click on play in order to check pressure evolution through times. Remember, we computed 10 seconds physical time. Target it here, here is to check, check if the computation tends to, to a steady state, um, some, some steady state results. And then as you can see here, um, and if you go back, back to some iteration, um, from, from let's say 9.5 seconds through 10 seconds, the results are pretty the same. That means we have um, a good computation. Let's now plot velocity. And again, we could try to check the evolution through times of the velocity in order to check if results uh, tend to steady state. What we could see here is that we still have, and it's normal, 
uh, one meter per second from the out the inlet located down located down uh, in this region here and you have some um, negative velocity in the downstream um, but also higher velocity in the red and orange region so remember this computation doesn't take in account a sliding mesh method so let's now move to case number two which take uh, which takes uh, in account this sliding mesh method setting cases number two transient rotor is pretty simple and could be done based on case number one by doing so if you do not want to set again with the same settings as frozen rotor please follow this procedure go to file here click on new cases then select copy from and select the frozen rotor xml document once this is done you can create a new case name here i created it and i call it transient rotor once this is done you will have this window appearing you can move to calculation features and select full transient simulation that's the only thing you have to do to set these cases once this is done you can proceed to run computation increase the number of processes if your configuration allows it then save case and run the calculation I will show you now the results with this new option. So just like case number one, you could load results within Paraview, then select cell data to point data filter in order to have a cleaner view in this layout window. Make sure before clicking on play and check pressure uh, evolution through time uh, to rescale it in order to have visible data range so as you can see here the rotor is rotating providing you results through times it gives you more accurate results to 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 you could also plot if you want the velocity this will give you some accurate results too providing you structure and uh, velocity uh, behavior of the fluid so we will reload it from the beginning and now let's play it so the goal here is to check fluid behavior uh, we should expect some kind of periodic fluid behavior due, due to the sliding mesh method uh, as you can see on the screen uh, this latest method provides more accurate results in the domain but in this simple case it tends to a steady state uh, which be what we which is what we expected this concludes this video tutorial i really hope you enjoyed watching this video i highly recommend you to keep tracking code and updates by checking on our channel or social media pages to get the latest news Thank you for watching.